A continuación, presentará Simona Arletti, presidenta de la Charcha Italiana de Ciudades Saludables de la OMS y regidora del Ayuntamiento de Módena. Un placer tenerte. Encantada. Uh, I, I can't speak Spanish so good. So, um, I will speak in English and I hope we can have uh, 20 minutes uh, interesting for you. Before I start speaking about what is Healthy City Network, I would ask you two questions. Um, if I ask you, if you administrate a city, for instance, uh, if you invest in cycling, uh, do you know uh, that you are directly investing in health? I think you will have the sure answer, yes. If I ask you, how much money do you save, actually, if you invest money in cycling, in promoting cycling, I'm sure you don't have the exact answer. And that was uh, what we tried to do and what uh, I will talk about to you. And I hope we will find together an answer. Okay, uh, to go on is this, okay. Order. Yes. Next. Okay. So, uh, healthy city network. What is an healthy city? As you can see, we have in the city green areas, as we said, but we have also traffic jam. We have air pollution, but also beautiful cycle lanes. Healthy city is for us uh, a city that is not arrived. So it's a city that tries to improve health with energy. For instance, promoting and carry out actions to foster health, preparing health profiles to know uh, the situation in the city and preparing health social health plans that integrate the choices of the city with the choices of health authorities and supporting experiences in public and private uh, sector identified as community projects. Uh, so uh, this network, Healthy City, is promoted by WHO, the United Nations Specialized Agency for Health. And uh, in uh, Europe, it's present in uh, 1,400 cities in 30 countries, so not only European Union. And in Italy, this project started in 1995 as a movement. Uh, there were four or five cities. Now we are a legally recognized association of municipalities, and today the city members of the network are 75. I live in Modena, and Modena has the coordination of the Alpha City Network in Italy. This is the steering committee, so you can see different municipalities. Yesterday there were uh, here are uh, the um, uh, mayor of Houdine, and uh, you can read the different uh, cities that are the steering committee. This is the map. As you can see, we are much more present in the north than in the center or in the south of Italy, so this is a challenge for us. And what we are going to do is to follow the indication of WHO in phase six, 2014 uh, till uh, 18. Uh, theme one is the life course approach, so health during the war life and empowering people, tackling the major public health challenges, strengthening people-centered health systems and public health capacity, and fourth new issue for Healthy City Network, creating resilient communities and supportive environment. And Healthy City Network is also a vehicle at a local level for implementing health 
2020, the European Policy and Strategy for Wealth and Wellbeing. What does it mean for a municipality that is, wants to be a part of Healthy City Network? It means, first of all, I say the point number four, making commitments towards citizens. As a mayor, I commit that I will try to improve health. This is, I think, the first thing. So I, uh, I say to my citizens, we must work together to improve the health of all. Of course, it means uh, that you can enhance experiences, ideas, of technical officer and also of politicians. You can improve uh, health status of the city acquiring different tools, and I will show you one of these tools. And uh, building community projects, that is what we normally do. The lines of work are sustainable mobility, healthy diet, physical activity, healthy lifestyles, relationship between environment and health, city planning and health, and healthy aging. Uh, as you know, uh, WHO says that environment and health are issues that can be mediated or are often, often mediated locally. It means that you can work on it at a local level, not only an, at a national level. And the pressing issues in our cities, European health uh, issues, are air quality, water and sanitation, noise, uh, housing, transport and active mobility, land use, green spaces, as we, uh, as we have seen yesterday, climate change mitigation and adaptation. We, are, uh, we know uh, exactly uh, how many months a person in uh, Barcelona, for instance, uh, will live more if we have a reduction of PM. So it was clearly stated that uh, life, again in life expectancy, for instance, uh, in Barcelona is about uh, 12 months if we respect what is the level fixed from WHO for PM. This means that we know exactly that if we reduce our air pollution, we gain much more life expectancy. Uh, Bucharest, for instance, a person who lives in Bucharest gains uh, two, uh, 22 months in life expectancy. So there's much work to do. Uh, what we do as a national network uh, is that we, as um, cities, find every year in a different city and we work on different issues. We have uh, a Healthy City Award that is a prize that is given to, more, to the most deserving projects. And we have a website uh, where, we, where you can find also uh, experiences and uh, projects of cities that won this Healthy City Award. Uh, and we make um, much more workshops to build up the same uh, know among technicians and politics. And we try to give information, new um, knowing, and what can be helpful for politicians to take decisions. And then we work, as I said, on community projects. What is a community project for us is an interventional health promotion directly to a sufficiently uniform community in which all members participate actively involved in the implementation and in the verification of the results. Uh, there are some key rules that you must respect. Empowerment, responsibility of all people involved. Uh, so not only officers, but also, for instance, association. They are at the same table, they are at the same level. 
You must stimulate the protagonism of all the stakeholders, be flexible, you don't have to prevaricate other members, and first of all, have patience to work together. Uh, for instance, if you work on healthy diet in schools, you must have all these, and perhaps much more, but all these stakeholders must be at the same table. Volunteer associations, schools, uh, families, public health corporation, university and municipalities, so they must sit at the same table. What are some examples? Uh, for instance, the Paths of Earth and Memory, that is dedicated to um, health, um, being uh, healthy, although if you are getting older. Uh, children's Healthy Cities, the dissemination of the Toronto Charter, uh, Globulandia is an adventure in red. Uh, it has uh, to do with blood donation and uh, um, time donation. But it's uh, not today the day to talk about it. Uh, the chart of Molfetta, the chart of Genova, one dedicated to what you have to do to promote resilient cities. And then uh, uh, what can you do to redevelop urban voids? But Today we will talk about HEAT, Health Economic Assessment Tool. Uh, it's a tool that is free. It's free in internet and it was uh, elaborated in 10 years of work from the WHO and it's important to recognize economic benefits for investment both in cycle lane as in walking path. The city where I come from is called Modena, 185,000 inhabitants, uh, square kilometers 183, uh, and 200 cycle lanes. So you will say it's everything okay, plain. Many people go on cycling to work or to study. Uh, as you can see, this is uh, uh, in Italy, Modena is uh, really um, in a very good position. But in our region, Emilia-Romagna region, there is uh, an overall growth in the choice of cars anyway, and uh, a little decrease in the choice of cycling and walking. This is what we are going to study. Uh, you can see the green, the green part says 19% at the beginning of 2000 and now 13% uh, after 12 years. So, although we have more cycle lanes and uh, we have um, invested, uh, we are not arrived. So, we must go on working on this choice. What we do, uh, what we did, and what we are still doing now in Modena is applying this tool of double HO uh, on a new stretch of cycle lane in our city that was not so long, actually a short part, but it was important for the connection city center to hospital of the city, city center to university and health public department. What was the aim? The aim was to convey the idea that this path, called the Moreali path, is an investment, an engagement of the public administration to promote citizens' health. There were some demonstrations from the citizens because we had to cut out five big trees to do this cycle lane. And uh, uh, so um, citizens thought that it wasn't a good idea. And we uh, used also this tool to demonstrate that the benefits were more. Uh, we demonstrated clearly how this infrastructure brings in a long period the gain in terms of health. There was a big working group created with uh, two regional health service officers, technicians from environment preventional 
uh, regional agency, and then uh, statisticians and uh, members of two big association of cycling users, Udace and FIAB, and a mobility manager of the main hospital and uh, the town council of our health uh, and so on, and a different health city officers. Uh, the project is, uh, to build, was to build uh, the cycling path, as I said, only 250 meters long. And implementing this cycling path means giving uh, citizens a better solution in reaching their job, their home, their um, university, and uh, to reach the public health services instead of using their own car. This intervention started in 2012 and ended in 2000, was realized in 2013 and costed 40,000 euros. So not, not so much. Um, first of all, we collected many data. Uh, this was very interesting, but also very, um, well, um, we, we worked a lot on this part, on the beginning part of collecting data. Uh, cycling flow was important. What we said, can we do this as a city manager, officer? No. We want to involve associations, so the, city, the cycling flow was measured by associations. FIAP and Udace are association of cyclists. So they made this, and it was very important. They chose two days uh, of um, good meteo conditions, and uh, they started to count people uh, in two hours in the morning and in the afternoon when people move to job or from job to home. And then uh, we required uh, many other data, for instance, the mortality rate of the population that was given from uh, healthy uh, authorities, and uh, the average distance cycled per person per year, and this was an esteem that uh, was about 225 kilometers. We have uh, some counter in the city that count how many people um, are um, going with the cycle on this uh, path. And then we observed uh, the trips done every day, the trips uh, in uh, the place where we were going to build the new cycle lane, so uh, 345 observed trips without the cycle lane, and then there was um, uh, 1,000 trips uh, in Emilia Street that was um, partly covered by a cycle lane, not uh, completely covered by a cycle lane. And the result at the end was uh, 1,435 trips. Assuming that, children, that citizens in Modena cycle a lot because it's uh, uh, anyway uh, a, a good mean to move in a, in a medium city as our, uh, we um, counted 300 days per year of cycling. So uh, at the end, uh, the both paths together, the first one present and the last one present and what we build uh, in the middle, uh, it was 1,600 meters. We also uh, made an esteem, always with the help of uh, WHO, of 80% of the impact of our project on cycling. As I said, that was the cost. You must also know that there was in our city a decrease uh, of 22% uh, um, of accident, road accident, but uh, pedestrians and wheelers remain a matter on which we must work on. As you can see, the first uh, here, 129 people, pedestrians, are injured and on a bicycle are quite double, 
241. So there's still a problem, although the accident reduced. So at the end of this work, introducing all these data and much more in this um, tool studied by WHO, we uh, had this result. So the, the result was a reduced mortality, uh, mortality risk, I mean, for the population of cyclists of 5%, 5.13%. The number of individuals uh, cycling expected to increase would be more uh, 1,000 additional individuals that we expected to regularly cycle, and uh, the number of deaths per year could be avoided by this change is 0 0.35. And that's the number at the end of the economic saving as a result of this promoting cycling is 400 thousand euro per year. I mean, if you remember 40,000 euro to build this short cycle lane, you have a benefit in health that is 10 times. Of course, not in the, not in, uh, in the money that is from the town. In Italy, the city spends money to build cycle lane and health promotion and uh, everything that is expense in health is um, governed by the region. So they are different, I mean, pockets. But if we speak naturally uh, all together as health system, we must say that investing in cycle lane can be demonstrated that gives you 10 times more gain in saving money. Uh, what we do now and after uh, these results was uh, to promote conferences, uh, not only in Modena, but also in uh, Cardiff, Bologna, now in Barcelona and everywhere we are asked to do it, uh, to um, talk about this experience and how can be used with your citizen to demonstrate that it's worth to go on promoting cycling. In 2012, we started uh, um, an event called uh, Sunday Without Cars and it's still going on. You can understand from the name, it is a big local event to promote uh, sustainable mobility. And then uh, when you have a national health festival, we talked about it and we'll go on talking about it. And we tried uh, with the media and uh, also with Facebook and so on to give um, a chance to other cities to know this tool. That was the leaflet to tell the people how it goes. This was a picture of Sunday without cars that is still going on every, every year. What we learned, and I finished, is that um, it's very important in these um, community projects uh, to improve intersectoral collaboration also within the municipality of Modena, not only with ELF system, but within the different sectors of the municipality. This um, tool uh, was rising uh, interest in sport association that are, have, have uh, asked to WHO if they can continue to work on the tool to estimate, uh, for instance, uh, uh, daily swimming activity, how much money does it save? And uh, uh, we gave our, uh, a concrete demonstration to our citizens about the utility of this cycling path. As I said, they weren't at the beginning so uh, happy to have a new cycle lane. And um, I think uh, uh, we can go on. For instance, we work a lot yet now um, with Bologna to uh, use this method in new cycle lane 
that have some problems to be realized. Uh, this was the intervention that connected different important parts of the city. And uh, so I leave you uh, with um, our um, internet and so on indications and uh, with a thought uh, that is a healthy city for children is a healthy city for all. And with this lane, we can not only use this path with our children, but also uh, different kind of people can feel secure and decide to give up their car and use the bike. So that's all. Thank you.